Do you want to be hot in the kitchen? Do you want to learn how to sizzle in the kitchen? Well, I'm going to show you today with my cookbook, Too Hot in the Kitchen, Secrets to Sizzle at Any Age. Chocolate! Did I get your intention? Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate's my very favorite. But who doesn't like chocolate? So one of my best recipes for a moist, rich, delicious chocolate cake is in here. So let me find what page it's on. Chocolate caramel candies. Oh my gosh, these candies in this book are so good. Chocolate banana bundt cake, chocolate pecan candies, chocolate silk cheesecake. Chocolate fudgies are the best. You make them with a cake mix. Okay, here we go. Chocolate cola cake. All right, chocolate cola cake. Now, I have to tell you the little history about this cake because this is probably one of the recipes everybody wanted years and years ago. I did a Diet Coke promotion for a Holly Clegg Dream Kitchen. And what I did is I put the recipes for the Diet Coke chocolate brownies, that's what I called them, inside all the Coke and Diet drink uh, little holders. So you had to go buy a container of Diet Coke or Diet Sprite or I think it was root beer too, to get the recipe. But when Too Hot in the Kitchen came out, I knew I was going to include this recipe. So I can't wait to share this with you. You might have heard it as a Texas sheet cake, a Texas cola cake, a chocolate uh, Coca-Cola cake, whatever it is, you're going to love it. And again, like all my recipes, I made it a little better for you because we've used Diet Coke and reduced the butter to make it a little, not, you know, a little easier for you to eat. And it's also simple. It's made with everyday ingredients. So let's start and let me show you the cake part first. These are our ingredients. You have mini marshmallows, just cocoa, and that's how I keep it better for you. I use cocoa instead of a solid chocolate. We have buttermilk. If you don't have buttermilk, all you have to do is add one cup of skim milk to, and then put in one tablespoon of vinegar or one tablespoon of lemon juice. You don't have to go run out and buy it. A little oil, egg, vanilla, and I love the Mexican vanilla with chocolate. And this is our Diet Coke, which gives it its name. A little baking soda. Make sure your baking soda is fresh because it counteracts with the uh, Diet Coke and the buttermilk and makes it puffs up. And here we go. You bake it for about anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes, depending on what size pan you're using. And this is the cake. It's so delicious. But the icing, oh my gosh, this is where, to me, it gets its name from. This is the icing that tastes really like fudge. So we're gonna take our butter, and I have six tablespoons of butter, and our Diet Coke, and then our cocoa. And in the icing also, we're just gonna let this melt and come to a boil. And in the uh, icing also, I've used cocoa. If you use cocoa, and of course we know chocolate is an antioxidant now, so that's a good thing. But if you use cocoa, you're not getting the saturated fat that you do like in unsweetened chocolate or solid chocolate. So it gives it that same great flavor. This recipe, oops, I keep my ingredients in the house always, so I whip it up and it's the kids like it. I sometimes add pecans. You see how it comes together. And this icing is, has this rich, fudgy, thick taste, and you pour it on the cake hot, and it just, oh my gosh, it's delicious. So we're going to let this come to a boil real quickly. You'll see how long it takes. And this recipe is from Too Hot in the Kitchen, Secrets to Sizzle at Any Age. It's probably one of my go-to chocolate recipes for year. And I had it in the Diet Coke promotion, but, uh, oh, I have to share something with y'all. This is, I don't know if this is true or not, I'm experimenting. Who uses organic butter out there? I'd love to hear, because I've started buying it because when I was in New York making cookies for my um, daughter-in-law, the cookies were so good and she had organic butter. I think it makes everything better. So if any of you out there use organic butter, let me know. It's come to a boil. And then we're just going to add one box of confectionery sugar, powdered sugar. And let's turn our heat off. And you're going to see, let's see, we're going to do it like one box of this. And then you're just going to stir it and you'll see it comes together. Don't get worried. It's going to come, turn into a wonderful icing. All right. You see how long this takes? Three minutes to make. 
All right, and then you always add vanilla to a recipe off the heat. That's something else you always want to remember. So we'll just stir it up real quick. Try to get all the bumps out. And we're adding our vanilla. Mmm, buy Mexican vanilla, it's so good, so good. All right, here we go. You see this creamy icing? Now, I wanna know if you could not eat it hot out of the oven, I can't. All right, here we go, we'll just make sure it's all mixed in real well and it thickens as you stir it too all right let's go here it is our chocolate is just going to sort of stop on top and if i'd have stirred it a little more it'd have been a little thicker which i usually do but just i want to finish this up yum 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 oh this smells divine so simple rich moist the marshmallows sort of give it a moisture to it. It's my Diet Coke chocolate brownies, and to some of you known as a Texas sheet cake. No matter what, it, oh, I don't want to leave one bit of this icing in there. And you do want to let it cool so the icing hardens a little bit. And here's our brownies. This is my other little favorite um, spatula. It's little. I got mine years ago, but I think there's a link somewhere. I'll put it on my blog by there. So good, so moist, so rich. Mmm, so good. My Diet Coke chocolate brownie recipe. And I'll put a link to the blog so you could get it and make it in your house. Bye! Mmm.